Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and welcome to our weekly watch list and our top stocks to watch in this upcoming week of April 4th. So in this video, we're going to cover our main topics as we normally do, our fundamental drivers in this upcoming week, what news events do we have to be aware of, and the technical uh, setups that we're currently looking at, i.e. the technical analysis that we're looking to act on in this upcoming week. So without any further delay, let us get right into this week's top stocks to watch. So as you can see on screen right now, we do not have a lot of news this week because we had a lot of news last week. So all we have to be aware of in terms of news events, high impact news events that is, in this upcoming week is 10 a.m. on Tuesday, Eastern Standard Time. We do have ISM Services PMI coming out in the U.S. And then Wednesday at 2 p.m. EST, we do have FOMC meeting minutes. But besides that, we have no other fundamental drivers. And as you can see on screen right now is our earnings in the S&P 500 for this upcoming week. Okay, so here we are on the charts and we're going to get right into it. We're gonna start off on SPY here because we do use SPY to gauge general market sentiment and we do trade uh, SPY quite often during the day. So what I'm experiencing here is a very, very clear textbook LA wave pattern playing out on SPY. Recently, SPY has been able to have been read through the LA wave framework, especially easily. Um, and to me, that's very, very helpful because that's how I am viewing the market. So as you can see here, we do appear to be entering a multi-staged uh, ABC correction. As you can see, we had wave A play out here. We're seeing wave B play out now, and then I am expecting a low to be made before we go and we break our highs at 462 and potentially go all the way back up to our all-time highs at 480. So in this week, I'm a little bullish to start off, but once we get around the 455 area, maybe a little bit below that, maybe a little bit above that, I will then be bearish experiencing, expecting a move below 449.22. Moving into Apple, we recently came down after we had 12 straight green days, almost made a record for Apple. And then as you can see, we entered into a very clear five wave move to the downside. So this lines up just like it does on SPY. Um, we have our wave A here. This is wave A. Now we're looking for wave B and we're going to look for wave C shortly after. This is a clear zigzag corrective pattern because when you are looking at a zigzag corrective pattern, which is a type of complex correction, you are going to look for five waves in wave A. And as you can see here, we have waves one, waves two, waves three, wave four, and wave five here. Very clear five wave move to the downside for wave A. Now we're going to look for wave B again, like I said, before looking for wave C below this support fractal we had here, which formed prior. So overall bullish and then bearish. NVIDIA recently broke back down into a range uh, after we broke out of it recently. So we formed this range around here. We broke out above this high at 272 um, and then made a quick little run to the upside after we retested. It provided a lot of actually really good long opportunities. We did share this setup on this channel and then we did find our way back down below invalidating the support fractal coming right back into this zone. So I'm just going to expect that NVIDIA will consolidate until we get a breakout again of 272 or 261.70. Tesla recently has been on a tear uh, just along with SPY and Apple, right? But we did not see the same kind of correction play out that we saw on both of those. We are seeing a much more mild correction, which does appear to be a high base pattern, also referred to as consolidation, also referred to as a rectangle. But we are experiencing a very clear sideways consolidation here with levels from 10,070 to 1,115 just about. Until we break out of one of these levels, I am just going to be uh, not expecting too much out of Tesla. Maybe you can actually play this, this consolidation, expect a bounce up to the upside. Maybe a, uh, you could place a sell order at the top here and look for a move to the downside. But overall, I, uh, I won't have a clear bias on Tesla until we get a clear break out of these levels. BLNK, which is a really interesting stock, just presented a really nice long opportunity on the four hour chart. We had a support fractal form here. We broke back above that support fractal, turned it into a new support, as you can see here with all these wicks to the downside. We retested that zone before running directly after we broke out of a wedge. So in my opinion, BLNK looks really, really good to continue for the next week or so, maybe a couple of weeks, but I am bullish on BLNK. I think the setup is very, very nice. 
AMD obviously did have some capitulation after an analyst downgrade this week. Um, I am ex expecting a pullback from AMD. We did just at the end of a day yesterday on Friday, or two days ago on Friday, we saw the break of an inverse head and shoulders. As you can see, if you zoom in here, this is definitely an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So I will expect AMD to come up in the next couple of days, perhaps for the you know the foreseeable future, because we did have a very steep sell-off here where we are very much oversold. You know, is it possible this trend continues? Yes, but we will experience a correction at the least before that happens to the upside. So recently I've gotten incredibly bullish on Bitcoin and SPY. So along with that, I'm going to expect crypto-related equities to perform well. So I'm keeping my eye on Riot and Mara. And these are two stocks that I'm keeping an eye on to play that crypto impulse move to the upside in the stock market um, in the form of options for the most part. So keep an eye on Riot. We're bouncing off of a important resistance turned into support fractal here and as well as our 38.2 retracement of our last wave. So very, very important level we're at right now on Riot. I do think we will make another move to the upside, at least a push up for this resistance line that we have highlighted above. And last, but certainly not least, we are looking at Tilray again. Tilray has looked incredible after we got some news about a passing of a federal bill in regards to you know, rec uh, decriminalizing marijuana. So what we will experience uh, out of Tilray is most likely move to the upside on that news, as well as the technicals are pointing that out for us. As you can see, we had a very nice break above this descending resistance line that we had here, which was a channel. We got a break above that. Now it looks like we will pull back, maybe fill this gap at $6.99 before we make our move to the upside. But overall, I am bullish on Tilray. You may just need a little bit more time to correct before we move. That being said, you know, we, we definitely can start to keep an eye out on price patterns to see if we get a breakout of a wedge or whatever it may be. Look out for our MACD crosses on our higher time frames. Um, and just be aware that this will most likely make a move to the upside in the near future. So rather short top stocks to watch in this upcoming week. Just wanted to give you guys the most important information you need to be informed and educated going into this week. I wish all of you a fantastic week in the markets. And as always, on behalf of everyone at OBR Investing, Happy trading, and I will see you in the next video.